بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو لیکچر نمبر 26 سکس آف ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری لاسٹ لیکچر میں ہم نے میپنگز آف سرفسز کے بارے میں پڑھا تھا اور یہ دیکھا تھا کہ وین اے فنکشن فرام ون سرفس ٹو دا ادر سرفس از ڈیفرینشیبل اور از اے میپنگ اس کے بعد ہم نے یہ دیکھا تھا ہاؤ وی کین کیلکولیٹ دا ٹینجن میپ آف دا میپنگز سو بیسیکلی کوئی بھی میپنگ اگر دو سرفسز کے درمیان گیون ہے دین وی کین کیلکولیٹ دا ٹینجن میپ وچ ول ٹیک ٹینجنس ٹو ون سرفس ٹو دا ٹینجنس آف انادر سرفس اس کے بعد ہم نے بہت امپورٹنٹ کلاس آف میپنگس کی تھی ڈیفیو مارفزم اور ان میپنگس کو آج ہم زیادہ ڈیٹیل سے اسٹڈی کر رہے ہوں گے کیونکہ دے آر ویری امپورٹنٹ کلاس آف میپنگس ان ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری سو آج کی لیکچر میں ہم یہ دیکھیں گے when there is a diffeomorphism between the two surfaces or in other words when the two surfaces are diffeomorphic اس کے بعد ہم یہ دیکھیں گے کہ given any mapping between two surfaces how we can map zero forms one forms and two forms of one surface to the other surface so ایک surface پہ ہم نے یہ دیکھا تھا we can define zero forms we can define one forms and we can also define two forms لیکن انڈر دس میپنگ ان زیرو فارم ون فارم ٹو فارمس کی کیا امیج ہوگی یہ آج کے لیکچر میں ہم دیکھیں گے سو لیٹس ری کال وٹ آر ڈیفیو مارفک سرفیسز ٹو سرفیسز آر ڈیفیو مارفک اف دیر ایگزٹ اے ڈیفیو مارفزم بٹوین دم اور ان ادر ورڈس دیر از اے میپنگ دیٹ ہیز این انورس میپنگ سو دیر ایگزٹ انورس آف دا فنکشن وچ از آلسو اے میپنگ اور ان ادر ورڈس دی ایف انورس از آلسو ڈیفرینشیبل اور اس کیس میں ہم نے دیکھا تھا کہ ان ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری دس از اے کائنڈ آف اکویلٹی بٹوین دا ٹو سرفیسز سو وین دا ٹو سرفیسز آف ڈیفیو مافک وی سے ان ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری دیٹ دے آر ایکول ان دی سینس آف ڈیفرینشیل جیومیٹری اینڈ ڈیفیو مافزم از اے ویری اسپیشل کائنڈ آف میپنگ یہ سرفیس کی چند پراپرٹیز کو صرف دیکھتا ہے اور تمام پراپرٹیز کو نہیں دیکھتا سو یو ول بی سرپرائز کہ کیسے دو بہت ڈفرنٹ نظر آنے والی سرفسز ڈیفیو مارفک ہوتی ہیں اینڈ وی آلسو ڈیڈ دس انورس فنکشن تھیورم جس سے ہمارے پاس ایک سمپل کرائٹیریا آ گیا تھا ٹو چیک وین اے فنکشن از اے ڈیفیو مارفزم سو اس میں بیسیکلی ایک سمپل کرائٹیریا تھا وچ از اے کرالری آف دا انورس فنکشن تھیورم اینڈ دا ریزلٹ از ایف ایف از اے ریگولر اینڈ بائجیکٹیو دین ایف از اے ڈیفیو مارفزم سو ریگولر مینس ایٹ ایچ اینڈ ایوری پوائنٹ دا ٹینجنٹ اسپیس از آئیسو مارفک ٹو اٹس امیج انڈر ایف سو بیسیکلی ٹی پی آف ایم از آئیسو مارفک ٹو T f of P n and uh, let's see what are diffeomorphic surfaces so as I said k this is equality of differential geometry this is the equality of surfaces in differential geometry now diffeomorphic surfaces may differ in shape and size so uh, agar کوئی سی دو سرفیسز گیون ہیں اور وہ دونوں ڈیفیو مارفک ہیں تو یہ پوسیبل ہے کہ ایک کا سائز انتہائی چھوٹا ہو اور دوسرے کا سائز انتہائی بڑا ہو اور می بی انفینٹ سائز ہو اور ان کی جو شیپس ہیں وہ بہت زیادہ ڈفرنٹ بھی ہو سکتی ہیں سو ڈیفیو مارفزم از اے ویری اسپیشل کائنڈ آف میپ جو کہ سائز اور شیپ ان دونوں میں ڈفر نہیں کرتی Now let's consider examples to see uh, how uh, this shape and size thing can differ. So for example, an open rectangle in R2 is diffeomorphic to the entire plane. So it's diffeomorphic. to the entire plane R2 so اگر میں xy plane میں ایک چھوٹا سا open rectangle لوں which varies from minus pi by 
2 pi by 2 and along y axis this varies from minus pi by 2 2 pi by 2 then this very small portion of R2 is diffeomorphic to to the entire plane so a very small portion of R2 let's say this at D is diffeomorphic to the entire plane so in other words uh, there exists a mapping which is differentiable from this set D to the entire plane R2 and there exists F inverse from R2 to D and both are differentiable and now you can observe that the size of D is very small it's a very small disk in R2 but this is diffeomorphic to the whole plane R2 so this is very strange fact about diffeomorphism this is a very small portion of R2 portion this is in fact diffeomorphic to the whole plane so let's see how do we prove it consider this open set R which is given as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so basically this is the same set defined as uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 or hum axis ke naam de rahe hain u and v or along v axis this is also minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 then the function f from r to r is defined as then the function f from r to r2 defined as f of uv is equal to tan u tan v is a mapping of r into r2 now why this is differentiable because tan u is differentiable tan v is differentiable so the differentiable part is okay now why the image of this map is each and every point of the plane because up tan x k graph ko gaur se dekhe let's say this is y is equal to tan x then between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 the range of tan x is the whole of the y axis so in other words agar y axis ka main koi sa bhi point le loon, then it is basically image of some value of x under tan x so corresponding to every point on the y axis there exist a point on x axis such that the image of this point on x axis is this point along y axis and this is true for each and every point on the y axis so this means that y axis ka har point uh, tan x ka image point hai. so this means that the range of tan x is basically all of y axis so when we minus pi by 2 2 pi by 2 travel karenge, then we will be covering all of the real line so this case mein, uh, aap dekh sakte hain, u varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and v varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so this means tan u jo hai, ye bhi vary kar hai to whole of the real line or tan v bhi vary karega to whole of the real line so uh, this will take each and every real number and this will also take each and every real number so this f of u v is basically an onto map onto map means each and every point of r2 will be an image of some element of this set r because this is true for tan u this is true for tan v so this is true for this ordered pair so we have defined a function 
from this very small set R into the whole plane R2 or ये जो map है ये onto map है so each and every point of R2 is image of some point of this set R in R2 now we have seen that f is differentiable let's calculate f inverse so in this case uh, calculation of f inverse is simple so f inverse of uv is equal to tan inverse u and tan inverse v and we also know that tan inverse u and tan inverse v are differentiable so it means f inverse is also a mapping so f is a diffeomorphism because it has an inverse which is also differentiable so Similarly, every open rectangle in R2 is diffeomorphic to R2. So, R2 ke andar koi si bhi open rectangle le le, it will be diffeomorphic to the whole plane R2. So, diffeomorphism does not respect the size of the objects. Bohut chota nazar aane wala object diffeomorphic ho sakta hai to a very very big object now let's consider another example the sphere minus 1.2 r2 aap ek sphere le le usme north pole aap nikal de so then we can see that this sphere is the same as the whole plane r2 so once again last example mein humne dekha tha ke uh, diffeomorphism it does not respect the size which means बहुत छोटा नजर आने वाला object बहुत बड़े object के diffeomorphic है और इस case में हम देख सकते हैं कि the shape is not counted in diffeomorphism as well so for example ये sphere है it's a very round shape लेकिन this is diffeomorphic to the whole plane लेकिन इस sphere में से हमने एक point निकाल लिया है so आइए देखते हैं कि हम इनको कैसे diffeomorphic prove कर सकते हैं तो उसके लिए हमें एक मैपिंग डिफाइन करनी पड़ेगी सो लेट्स फर्स्ट कंसिडर ए पैच ऑफ द सफियर नाउ लेट सिग्मा नॉट बी सफियर माइनस वन पॉइंट एंड वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दिस नॉर्थ पोल फ्रॉम द सफियर देन ए पैरामीटराइजेशन ऑफ सिग्मा नॉट इज गिवन बाय एक्स ऑफ यू वी इज इक्वल टू को साइन वी को साइन यू को साइन वी साइन यू वन प्लस साइन वी सो बेसिकली इट्स ए सफियर विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एक्स वाई प्लेन और इन अदर वर्ड्स इट इज टचिंग द एक्स वाई प्लेन ओनली एट वन पॉइंट एंड द नॉर्थ पोल इज जीरो जीरो टू एंड दिस इज जेड एक्सेस एंड वी आर टेकिंग यू एंड वी टू बी वेरी फ्रॉम आर द रियल लाइन cross minus 3 pi by 2 to pi by 2 and we can see that this will cover each and every point of the sphere apart from the north pole so basically this is covering each and every point of the sphere apart from the north pole so this is a parameterization and this is not a one to one map so this is not a patch it is a parameterization now let's define this map which is stereographic projection of the sphere onto the plane ye humne last lecture mein bhi dekha tha aur ye humne calculate kiya tha that uh, the image of any point p which is uh, let's say p is equal to with coordinates p1 p2 p3 the image of this point under this function f is basically 2p1 over 2 minus p3 2p2 over 2 minus p3 and 0 and uh, this is basically uh, contained in R2. So each point of the surface is mapped onto some point of the plane R2. Now what is f of x of u? Uh, we can uh, put the values of uh, x of uv. Now what is x of uh, uv? This is equal to cosine v cosine u cosine v sine u and sine v 
और ये जो वैल्यूज हैं जब आप इधर पुट करेंगे सो दिस इज पी वन दिस इज पी टू दिस इज पी थ्री इन वैल्यूज को यहाँ रिप्लेस करेंगे तो हमारे पास ये एक्सप्रेशन आ जाएगा विच इज वाई और यहां से हम इजीली देख सकते हैं दैट दिस इज ए रेगुलर मैप सो हाउ वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज ए रेगुलर मैप उसके लिए हमने लास्ट लेक्चर में डिस्कस किया था कि हम सिर्फ और सिर्फ जो पार्शल वेलोसिटीज हैं एक्स यू और एक्स वी उनके इमेजेस लेंगे सो एक्स यू और एक्स वी अंडर द टेंजन मैप और इनको हम वाई uh, यू और वाई वी के नाम देंगे और how we can calculate these so we can in fact calculate them by differentiating this y with respect to u and this y with respect to v so from here we calculate uh, uh, y u and y v or in dono ko hum dekhenge that these are linearly independent so if these are linearly independent then the tangent space 2 r2 in fact so this is R2 at point f of p is basically two dimensional or then this will imply that f is regular or kyunki is case mein uh, u and v could be any point of the sphere since this is true for each and every point u and v so basically this is true that uh, the tangent map is isomorphism or in other words f is regular and if f is regular at each and every point and uh, it is on to then uh, we can say that this is a diffeomorphism so i am leaving this as an exercise jisme aapne y u aur y v calculate karna hai aur uh, kyunki isme y given hai just aapne isko differentiate karna hai partially with respect to u aur differentiate karna hai partially with respect to v aur fir aap ye dekhenge ke how they are linearly independent so this is an exercise to check that uh, why these are linearly independent aur uh, jab ye linearly independent ho jayenge iska ye matlab hai the, the image of the tangent space at any point so the image of x u and the image of x v at any point is basically y u and y v and they are linearly independent and if they are linearly independent then this means that uh, the tangent map is isomorphism at that point and if the uh, tangent map is isomorphism which means f is regular at that point and uh, since u and v could be any point of the sphere it means uh, f is regular at each and every point and then uh, this implies that f is a diffeomorphism or is case mein bhi aap dekh sakte hain ek sphere which is a very round shape it has a curvature but it is diffeomorphic to the whole plane which is very flat so this is the different observation about the diffeomorphisms lekin ek cheez jo aap note kar sakte hain ki humne sphere mein se north pole ko nikala hua hai so sphere minus 1 point is diffeomorphic to the plane now let's consider another example a cylinder and r2 minus a point now what is a cylinder a cylinder in r3 is defined as an object which is basically a circle at each and every uh, plane parallel to xy plane so uh, this is the red circle in xy plane aur uh, uske ilawa uh, koi bhi aap plane lenge parallel to z axis then it will again be a circle in that plane so that's how we define a cylinder or jo cylinder hai it is basically diffeomorphic to r2 minus a point so r2 minus 1 point is diffeomorphic to the cylinder so let's see how we can prove this uh, we define a map from this cylinder so why this is a cylinder because there is no z variable involved in the equation of c so this means that 
this is all the way circle for each and every value of z and uh, it is the circle with radius 1 and center origin at each and every plane so uh, if we combine them all it will become a cylinder and we define a map from cylinder to r2 in the following way e raised to power z x y so basically aap uh, cylinder ka ek point lete hain aur us point ko aap map kar rahe hain to a point of the plane and this e raised to power z is basically uh, the magnification uh, coefficient so basically jaise jaise aap z ki value badha rahe hain e raised to power z exponentially bad raha hai aur ye aapko points de raha hai which are basically on a straight line so f maps bijectively c2 r2 minus this origin so basically this map is basically mapping each and every point of the cylinder to all of the r2 except for one point now the inverse of f can be calculated and uh, this is not part of our course to calculate how this f inverse comes but by observation f inverse is given as u over u square plus v square square root v over u square plus v square square root and log of square root of u square plus v square so this is the inverse and we all we can also see that this function f is differentiable and this f inverse is also differentiable and the map f defined in this way is also bijective and so if this holds then f is a diffeomorphism So basically, a cylinder is diffeomorphic to the plane minus a point or in differential geometry, they are equal. Now, let's start with the next topic, which is mappings of differential forms. So, I have differential forms given on a surface pe, or a mapping given hai between uh, the two surfaces how can I map differential forms from one surface to the other surface so for example uh, this is the surface M and uh, this is another surface N and uh, there is a one form let's say xi on this M then what will happen to f of xi is it possible that uh, f of xi is differential form on n so this is the question mark what is f of xi under this map so let's first consider the zero forms which are just functions from m to real line and which are functions from n to the real line so let's start from the zero forms let g from m to r is a function and it is a zero form on m so basically there is a function f taking each and every value of m to the real line then what will happen to f of f is it possible that we can translate uh, this function f which is zero form on m to some zero form on n and uh, the answer to the question is no this is not possible in general but one thing can be done which is if I take a function which is zero form on n so it is a function which can take values of n to the real line then I can pull back so I'm using the word pull back because the f ki direction is from m to n hai. 
लेकिन मैं जो जीरो फॉर्म्स हैं एन के ऊपर उनको पुल बैक कर रहा हूँ टू जीरो फॉर्म्स ऑन एम और इसको मैं कैसे डिफाइन करूँगा सो बेसिकली एफ ऑफ एफ एंड हेयर एफ इज बेसिकली सो लेट्स दिस इज एफ प्राइम सो हेयर एफ इज बेसिकली ए जीरो फॉर्म ऑन एन सो इट टेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ एन टू द रियल लाइन एंड वी कैन डिफाइन एफ ऑफ एफ टू बी ए जीरो फॉर्म ऑन एम सो लेट से पी बी ए पॉइंट ऑन एम देन एफ ऑफ एफ ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू सबसे पहले आप इस पर एफ अप्लाई करेंगे और उसके बाद आप स्मॉल एफ अप्लाई करेंगे सो इफ पी इज ए पॉइंट इन एम देन एफ ऑफ पी इज ए पॉइंट इन एन और अगर एफ ऑफ पी एन का पॉइंट है देन आई कैन अप्लाई दिस स्मॉल एफ ऑन दिस एफ ऑफ पी एंड आई विल गेट ए रियल नंबर सो बेसिकली इट इज ए रियल नंबर एंड वट इज द इनपुट इनपुट इज पॉइंट ऑफ एम सो वी आर टेकिंग पॉइंट ऑफ एम एंड वी आर गिविंग एज एन आउटपुट रियल नंबर सो ए फंक्शन विच टेक्स पॉइंट ऑफ द सर्फेस एंड टेक गिवस रियल नंबर एज द आउटपुट इज कॉल्ड ए जीरो फॉर्म सो बेसिकली एफ ऑफ एफ इज ए जीरो फॉर्म और इसको हम कहते हैं दिस इज द पुल बैक ऑफ एफ इसको मैं वंस अगेन बता दूँ पुल बैक क्यों कह रहे हैं बिकॉज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एफ इज फ्रॉम एम टू एन बट वी आर पुलिंग बैक द जीरो फॉर्म ऑन एम टू द जीरो फॉर्म ऑन एम और समटाइम्स हम इसको लिखते हैं द पुल बैक एफ अपर स्टार एफ सो ये नोटेशन हम इन जनरल यूज करते हैं फॉर द पुल बैक ऑफ दिस जीरो फॉर्म नाउ लेट्स कंसिडर वट विल हैपन विद द वन फॉर्म Now let f from m to n be a mapping of surfaces, and let phi be a one form on n. Now the pullback of phi, written as f upper star of phi, is defined as. So once again, this uh, case, maybe, we have the same problem. That I have any one form given on any surface M. Pe, usko push can't push it on any surface M. Pe, usko push it on any surface M. Pe, इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एफ कि अगर किसी सरफेस एम पे वन फॉर्म है और देर इज ए मैप फ्राम एम टू एन देन आई कॉन्ट टेक इमेज ऑफ दैट वन फॉर्म टू सम वन फॉर्म ऑन एन लेकिन इस केस में भी मैं अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में जा सकता हूँ पुल बैक कर सकता हूँ सो बेसिकली अगर मेरे पास phi कोई वन फॉर्म है n के ऊपर then I can pull back this phi and uh, I write it down as f upper star phi और इसको हम कैसे define करते हैं now what is a one form let's just recall one form uh, a one form is a function one form is a function that takes tangent vectors टू रियल नंबर एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एंड इट इज ऑल्सो ए लीनियर फंक्शन सो दिस इज अ वेरी रफ डेफिनेशन लेकिन इन जनरल वट इज ए वन फॉर्म इट टेक्स टेंजन वैक्टर्स एज इनपुट and gives real numbers as output so what is the domain of a one form these are tangent vectors so hum dekhenge ke how to define uh, f upper star of phi on m kyunki agar humne ye dekhna hai ke how we can pull back a one form on n to some one form on m to hum iska image define karenge for some arbitrary tangent vector v to m aur ye hum kaise define karte hain this is defined as phi of f lower star of v now if we see what is f lower star of v now this is the image of this vector v 
under the tangent map so tangent map kya kar raha hai tangent map of this mapping f takes tangent vectors of m to the tangent vectors of n so basically it is a tangent vector to n so f lower star of v is a tangent vector to n so agar ye tangent vector hai n pe and phi is a one form on n then we can surely apply phi on this tangent vector to n so humne define kar diya hai given any one form on n we can pull back it to some one form on m and it is defined as f upper star phi of v is equal to phi of f lower star of v so isme jo bhi vector hoga jo ki m pe hai isko aap uh, iska image le lenge under this tangent map aur us pe just phi apply kar denge so that's how we define the pull back of a one form from n to m similarly we can define a pull back of a two form so how to define pull back of a two form given any two form on n the pull back of eta which is the two form denoted by f upper star eta is defined in the following way now once again if i have an eta which is a two form on n then i want to get a two form on m so what is a two form so a two form is a function which is from the pairs of tangent vectors to real numbers and it is linear in both coordinates so ye humne definition ki thi two form ki ab is case mein agar maine ye dekhna hai ki how how this two form is defined to iska main image define karunga on a pair of tangent vectors so let u and v be a pair of tangent vectors to m so u ke liye for example ye curve hai hamare paas aur v ke liye curve alpha hai then f upper star eta of u v is basically defined as f lower star of u f lower star of v and eta now once again humne kya kiya hai jo uh, tangent vectors the u and v to m unka image le liya hai under the tangent map so this is the tangent map under this tangent map we get f lower star of v and under this this tangent map we get f lower star of u so we get two tangent vectors to the surface n so we have a pair of tangent vectors to the surface n and uh, hence uh, we can apply eta which is the two form on n on this pair of tangent vectors and we will get a real number so that's how we define a uh, pull back of a two form to the surface m now the essential operation on forms are sum wedge product and exterior derivatives and they are all preserved by the mappings now for example uh, consider this theorem uh, f is a function from the surface m to the surface n and it is a mapping which means it is a differentiable function and xi and eta are two forms on n then the pull back of xi plus eta is equal to the sum of the pull back of xi and pull back of eta and similarly the pull back of the wedge product of xi and eta is equal to the wedge product of the pull backs of xi and eta and similarly the pull back of the exterior derivative of this differential form is equal to the exterior derivative of the pull back of the differential form now these uh, properties will be used in our uh, next lectures or uh, they are also useful uh, to do exercise questions jo ke assignment or quizzes mein honge aapke now let's try to prove them one by one ab is case mein they are differential forms so either xi and eta are zero forms 
or they are one forms or they are two forms so uh, there are three cases so case one so case one mein hum lete hain let's say xi is some function which is a zero form and eta is some function g which is again a zero form now what is pull back of f plus g humne kaise define kiya tha for some point p of m this is defined as f of p f plus g so basically aapne f of p calculate kiya which will be a point on n and then you can apply f plus g on it and it can be written as f of capital f of p plus g of capital f of p now what is this expression so this is basically f upper star of f at point p and this expression is basically f upper star of g at point p so the, if this is true for each and every point then this is true in general so this is how we prove if both xi and eta are zero forms now let's consider case 2 so in case 2 we take both f and g to be one forms so xi and eta are one forms so if these are one forms and these are pull backs so basically uh, we can calculate their image on some vector v on m so let v be a vector on m then f upper star xi and eta at vector v is equal to by definition this is equal to xi plus eta of f lower star of v now f lower star of v is basically the image of this vector v under the tangent map and it is a vector on the surface n so we can apply these one forms which are one forms on n and we can see that they are equal to xi of f lower star of v plus eta of f lower star of v so which is equal to so this expression is the same as f upper star of xi of e plus f upper star of eta of e so this statement is true when xi and eta are both one forms now let's consider the last case case 3 when xi and eta are two forms and these are two forms on n and uh, definitely the pull back of uh, xi plus eta is going to be a two form on the surface m now if we want to check the equality of uh, these two uh, expressions then uh, we must check that they are equal for each and every pair of vectors uh, because xi and eta are two forms so for that we take v and w which are uh, two tangent vectors to the surface m and we see their image under this two form so if xi and eta are two forms then the pull back of xi plus eta is also going to be a two form so let's check its image on a pair of tangent vectors to m so this is equal to xi plus eta f lower star of v which is the image of uh, this vector v under the tangent map 
and f low star of w which is the image of w under the tangent map so this is basically equal to xi f low star of v f low star of w plus eta f low star of v f low star of w so which is the same as saying that pullback of xi at v w plus pullback of eta at v w so this implies that this is true for each and every pair of tangent vectors to m uh, and and so this is true in general now let's consider the second part so in this part we have to prove that the pullback of the wedge product is equal to the wedge product of the pullback now let's consider the case when xi is a function then uh, there could be three cases so basically xi is a function and eta is also a function let's say g then uh, this is very simple so this is just f upper star f g so it is very easy to prove that this is equal to f upper star f into f upper star g so this is simple so basically what is the domain so just take any point p of uh, uh, the surface m and uh, prove that this holds for this expression now let's consider case 2 so case 2 is when xi is a function and eta is a one form now once again uh, this becomes f upper star f eta and uh, so the right hand side becomes f upper star f into f upper star eta because this is a function and this is a one form and uh, the wedge is always used between two differential forms so this is not a differential form but it is just a zero form a special kind of differential form so we cannot use wedge between them and how to check they are equal so we take any uh, tangent vector because this is a one form and this is also a one form so we check if they are equal for each and every tangent vector to m so let's check capital F upper star f eta f v of p so this is equal to f of f of p and eta of f low star of the vector part now what is this expression this expression is just the pullback of f at point p and this expression is just the pullback of eta at vector so basically we have proved that the pullback of f into eta is equal to the multiplication of pullback of f and pullback of eta so this is also true for this case when xi is f a function and eta is a one form similarly we can prove that what will happen in the case 3 when xi is a function and eta is a two form then we have to prove the same thing for a pair of vectors so take pair of vectors so let v and w be a pair of vectors then calculate f upper star 
xi wedge eta so basically uh, once again this is equal to f upper star f eta so we have to prove that this is equal to f upper star f multiplied by f upper star eta so this is uh, to prove so prove karne ke liye hum kya karenge pair of vectors liya humne aur uske baad iska image dekhenge what is f upper star of f eta add this pair of vectors v and w so this is equal to by definition f eta f low star of v f low star of w so ye humne abhi definition ki thi and uh, if p is the point where we are taking this uh, uh, tangent vectors then this becomes f of f of p and eta of f low star of vp f low star of wp which is the same as f upper star of f and f upper star of eta so we have proved this for these three cases so what is left so cases left are when xi is a one form and eta is also a one form iske alawa aur koi cases nahi ban sakte kyunki for example when xi is a one form and uh, eta is a two form then so this implies xi wedge eta is three form and each and every three form on surface is zero so this is not the case isliye sirf aur sirf ek case reh gaya hai in which xi is a one form and eta is also a one form now let's see the next case this is case number 4 and where xi is a one form and eta is also a one form now let's see how to prove this f upper star of xi wedge eta now xi wedge eta is a two form so this is a two form and if we want to prove this equality we have to take a pair of vectors so we take this pair of vectors v and w and uh, this becomes a two form or humne ye dekha tha how to define the pull back of a two form so this is defined as xi wedge eta of f low star of v f low star of w now we have seen that how to define this two form now this is equal to xi of f low star v eta of f low star w minus xi of f low star of w eta of f low star of v now this is the same as the pull back of xi at point v and this is the same as pull back of eta at point w and this is the same as the pull back of xi at point w and the pull back of eta at point v now using the same definition jisko hum use karke is line se is line pe aaye the using the same definition we can go back and we see that this is just the wedge product of f upper star xi and f upper star eta at point v w and uh, this v and w both are tangent vectors so we have proved this for each and every pair of 
tangent vectors so this is true in general so we have proved this thing for all the four cases and so this is true in general and once again let me tell you that this equality will be very helpful in solving the questions of exercise now let's come to the last property where we have to prove that the pullback of the exterior derivative of a differential form is equal to the exterior derivative of the pullback of the differential form so in this case uh, we will be proving it when xi is a one form or jo baki cases hain wo simple hain so we will consider the case when xi is a one form so let's see how to prove it so let x from d to m be a patch in m and y is equal to f of x so basically let m is a surface and let n be another surface and f is a map between them and we have a patch from some open set to the surface m and let's say this is the patch x of d and let y is equal to f of x so basically this is the y and it will take points of uh, x of d to some points of n now we have seen that k uh, to see the image of the tangent map we just need to see these two images so uh, at any point let's say if this is x u and this is uh, x v then basically we just need to see the images of x u and x v and uh, if there are y u and y v then we know what is the image of the tangent map at that point now we calculate this following now if we can prove this for this uh, pair of tangent vectors then this is true in general now by definition which we just saw f upper upper star xi which is basically if one form in this case is equal to partial by partial u f upper star xi xv minus partial by partial v f upper star xi xu so this is the definition that we just saw on the last slide ye humne pichle lectures mein ki thi so so this is equal to uh, by definition of the pullback this is equal to xi f low star of xv so basically it is the same as f upper star xi at xv is equal to xi applied on f low star xv so is cheez ko yahan replace kar diya humne aur similarly is cheez ko humne yahan replace kar diya aur this is equal to so what is f of xv and now what is f low star of xv this is just equal to yv and so this becomes xi of yv and similarly what is f low star of xu this is yu which is written over here now what is this expression this expression is just uh, the exterior derivative of uh, xi which is at point yu yv and uh, uh, once again this is equal to f low star of xu f low star of xv and so this is equal to the pull back of dxi at xu xv so humne is pair of tangent vectors se start liya tha and we ended up at uh, proving that exterior derivative of f upper star xi is equal to f upper star dxi so if this is true for xu and xv then this is true for each and every uh, pair of tangent vectors uh, in this tangent plane and uh, this is true for each and every point so uh, why this is true because uh, we can use uh, this property a x u plus b x v c x u plus d x v is equal to a d p c 
and eta x u x v. So this expression does not count and uh, this is just a real number and so if this is true for x u and x v then this is true for each and every pair of tangent vectors and, uh, and uh, this is true for each and every point on the surface M. So what we have seen in this lecture, so we have seen uh, what are diffeomorphic surfaces. We have seen that apparently the different size ki do surfaces hai, they could be diffeomorphic. So basically diffeomorphism does not see the size of the objects. Or similarly, we have seen that apparently the different shape tha, for example a sphere or a plane. So sphere has curvature and plane does not have curvature. But if you sphere a north pole agar aap nikal le, then they are diffeomorphic or in other words in the differential geometry they are same objects. And then we saw how a cylinder is diffeomorphic to a plane minus the point which is origin. So once again this cylinder is very uh, curvy object but the plane is a very flat object. So but they are diffeomorphic and then we saw that uh, if there is a mapping between two surfaces how can we translate or how can we take differential forms from one surface to the differential forms on the other surface. And then we have seen some properties of these pullbacks of differential forms. Or these properties you use karenge in solving questions. Next time we will be interested in integration of forms. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.